Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the DIY guy and today I'm going to show you how to do a job that most people find quite scary. How do you remove an old alarm system from your home? Most people don't want to attempt this, mostly because they're worried that they're going to set it off and not be able to stop it and upset all the neighbours. So if you want to see an easy way to get this job done, then stick around and I'll show you a simple process how we can remove this thing successfully and quietly. Before we make a start though, just make sure you're a subscriber because I've got loads of great stuff on the channel. And if the video helps you out today, smash the like button for me because that really helps this video reach and help more people just like you on YouTube. And once we've got this thing out, there's something a little bit special going up. So make sure you check out the next video because you're not going to want to miss it and you're not going to want to miss the offer that I've got on a new alarm system for your home. There's usually four or five key components to your alarm system that I'll show you how to remove. First one is your keypad here. And then we have motion sensors in the corners of the rooms that we need to take out as well. We also have a control box in the loft and an outdoor siren on the wall outside. The alarm that we're removing today is a Sterling 10, but these techniques will work for any hardwired alarm in your home. So let's head up into the loft where most of you will find your control box, which you can see up here next to the light. And you'll see that all the wires from the sensors run into that box and you have your power coming in on a piece of flex. Now we need to turn the power off to the alarm and you can see in this case that piece of flex runs to the fuse spur just there. So somewhere you will have a fuse spur just like that one. And you can see that at the moment that has power going to it. So the first step is to go down to the breaker and turn the power off to this circuit and then we can remove the power source to the alarm. So to turn that power off, go to your consumer unit and turn off the breaker. In this case, it's the one for the sockets upstairs. Now if there's a chance that there's anybody else in your home that could come along and turn that back on, then put a little warning sticker on there so that no one comes and turns that back on whilst you're working on the circuit. So you can see that now we've turned the power off, we have no power going through our flex to our alarm. So we can disconnect this piece of flex inside this FCU and that can then be redundant. plate back on the FCU and just give that wire a check so you can be sure you can do that with a volt pen a multimeter or a voltage tester whichever you prefer so now we've removed the mains power we can go ahead and take the front off the control panel or control box when you open this cover your alarm may well sound it's because there's an anti-tamper switch on the cover now when you open the cover you'll see that there'll be a battery inside. All you'll need to do is disconnect the red and black cable from the battery and that will stop the alarm. And this is our power cable piece of flex that we removed from that FCU. And if you're not reusing any of this we can go ahead and just cut it, pull that through the back and you can now go ahead and remove the control box that'll just be screwed on. It's just being held there now with all these sensor wires you can see all those sensor wires here. Just snip them. Probably the closest you'll ever get to disarming a bomb, I hope. That is gone. Now that is the main bit of your alarm removed. Now you can see there is a battery in there and that is a backup. But because this thing's 20 years old, the battery's dead. You might be lucky, and that might be the case. If, it's, if your battery's not dead, when you take that front cover off, you'll have a black and a red wire, just like these, and you'll just need to take them off the top of the battery, and that will disable the battery backup. So now we've removed the control box, we can move on to the removal of the keypad. The keypad removal is really simple. You'll have a little grub screw underneath the bottom of it somewhere, and all you need to do is just undo that little grub screw, and you'll be able to just remove that keypad 
to disconnect the wires. Go ahead and disconnect each wire from the PCB. Or you could just cut them, up to you. Either way, just remove those wires. And then just remove the body of that keypad from the wall. And you can stuff the wire back inside the wall cavity. And as you can see, you've got a little bit of clearing up to do, removing these plugs and filling it and painting it and all that kind of stuff. Now that the keypad's gone, we can go ahead and remove any door or window sensors like these ones. You just need to cut the wires flush and then you can fill the holes. We also need to remove the sensors in the corners of any rooms. Again, the wires can just be cut and you can fill and paint any holes that you make. So next we'll go ahead and remove the door and window sensors. You will have a few little holes to fill afterwards, but that's how easy it is to remove your door and window sensors. Now you've got your door and window sensors off, you can move on to removing these motion sensors. and we can tidy all this up a little bit later. For some reason the GoPro cut out and I didn't get the removal of the outdoor siren on camera. But basically, there'll be one little screw holding the cover on, whip that out, take the cover off, and you'll just have a few screws holding it to the wall. Take them out, cut the cable, job done. And last but not least, we can go ahead and turn the power on. And that's it, alarm system removed. We didn't set anything off, we didn't disturb all the neighbours, and I bet that was a lot easier than you thought it was gonna be. Now make sure you check out the next video on my channel, because in the next one, I'm gonna show you how you can install the easiest alarm system. It's so easy that anyone can do it. So make sure you check out that video when it releases. And if you like this sort of content, there's loads and loads of stuff on the channel, and loads to come throughout 2022. So make sure you're a subscriber, hit that subscribe button down below for me, and give the video a like if it helped you out today, because that helps the video reach and help more people just like you on YouTube. Thanks for watching the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.